Am I the asshole? For pointing out to my friends that they are not famous? Before we begin, do us a favor by clicking that like button, and subscribe to our channel for more top reddit stories every day. My friends are dating, there are also actors who have had small roles on a few TV shows, I'm talking two lines or less. I say this not to be a hater, I truly am rooting for them, but to give you a scope of their reach. Neither of them have a following in real life or on social media, they've got under 1500 followers combined. Anyway last week I posted a group picture on Instagram of people celebrating a friend's birthday. Everyone in the photo has got their arms around each other's shoulders. Very platonic, anyway yesterday in a group chat between the three of us they asked me to take the photo down because they don't want the public to know they are dating. I would consider it if they looked bad slash too sloppy drunk slash etc. But they don't. Also everyone has their arms around each other, not just them. Anyway I asked what they meant, and they said they didn't want to end up in gossip prags. I pointed out that they are not famous and that they don't even have functioning IMDB pages. They were livid and called me a bunch of names. I think they're delusional but they've been texting me demanding it and even sent me screenshots of them reporting it. Nothing has happened. At this point, I don't even want to be their friend. However, and probably because I'm an asshole, I don't want to delete it based solely on principle. Edit. Okay. So many of you all are right. I suppose I should separate how I feel about their ridiculous slash delusional slash stupid reasoning with the fact that no one should have an image of themselves online that they don't want made public. I'll take it down. M as the asshole for unintentionally revealing what a fellow bridesmaid did at a bachelorette party in front of her fiance. Last weekend, there was a bachelorette party for my friend, Becca, who is getting married. Becca had a great time. We all did. It was a three night affair and a male stripper came the last night we were there. Becca's good friend, Anna, got really into the stripper. I don't know Anna very well we've only met a few times, but she's nice and we get along great. Anna is engaged and getting married sometime this winter, haha <laughs> I don't know the date honestly. We're bridesmaids together. Anna was even more about the stripper than the bride. When the stripper got naked, so did she. She was basically shoving her boobs at the guy. She licked whipped cream all over him. Etc which, you do boo. She did mention to me her fiancé probably wouldn't be okay with it. I chuckled awkwardly. Please note that everyone was well aware of the stripper coming in an agreement, it's not something that was sprung upon anyone. Another bridesmaid, neither me nor Anna, arranged the stripper, last night was Becca's wedding. The wedding was beautiful. At one point during the reception, I was, drunkenly, talking to Anna, another friend, and Anna's fiancé. The other friend couldn't attend the party so we were all recounting our tales and laughing. I was very drunk at this point. I said and then Anna took her clothes off. You should have seven her with the stripper. Something to that effect. Um. Anna's fiancé goes a stripper? Turns out he didn't know a stripper was coming at all. Last I saw them, they were in a very heated conversation. Skeptical I apologized and Anna said well now, fiancé, is ready to call off our wedding so fucking thanks. She is really upset. I feel bad. My husband said it's not my responsibility to uphold and remember her lies, especially when I'm drunk. My mom disagrees and says I should have been more discreet. Ida? Am I the asshole for asking my girlfriend to cover up her body hair, pubes, at a public pool? My girlfriend doesn't remove any of her body hair anymore. I respect this choice and have never had any problem with it. Her body hair doesn't grow very long and it isn't glaringly noticeable unless you are very close to her. We are currently on vacation in Vegas. We are planning to go to Encore Beach Club. For those who have never heard of it, it is a very pretentious clubby space where your appearance matters. They have a dress code and are notorious for only letting in attractive people. Women go there in bikinis with high heels and a full face of makeup for example. My girlfriend was getting ready to go and I noticed that she put on a bikini. Normally, I'd not think twice about this. She works out a lot and has a good body and everything so she does look very good in a bikini. The thing is, since she no longer removes her body hair it means she has hair growing outside of the bikini line area. So when she wears a bikini, the hair on the side shows because it grows somewhere that isn't covered. Her hair isn't super thick or long or anything, but she is pale has black hair so it's noticeable. On top of that the bikini she chose is a bright highlighter pink color. When I saw this is nicely pointed out to her that her hair was kind of obvious and suggested that instead she wear one of her swimsuits that has shorts instead. She said no that she was good with the bikini she chose. Then as a compromise I asked if she could at least put on a black bikini bottom instead of the pink one. This led to a minor argument. 
She believes I'm being unreasonable by asking her to hide body hair that she has naturally. She pointed out that I'm not going to wear long pants even though I have very hairy legs. I think that I'm being normal and that's it's weird for people to have their pubes showing in public. I pointed out that I'm not asking her to hide body hair in any unreasonable places, I said nothing about her underarms slash leg hair. I said that the equivalent would not be me wearing long pants but wearing a speedo where my pubes poke out on the sides. I said that in that situation she would also be fair to ask me to wear board shorts instead. We are now at an impasse and decided to leave it to you all to decide which of us is right. Should she cover up or should I support her decision not to? Am I the asshole? For declining to help pay for my so's daughter's driving classes? My significant other, so, and I have been together just under a year. We have been living together for the past three months, but our finances remain separate for now. She has a daughter from a previous marriage who lives mostly with us, just turned 16, I have no children of my own, and needs to take some driving lessons, which cost at least $65 per hour. The biological father has not provided financial assistance for my so's daughter for some time now, so asking him to help pay is a moot point. The other day, my so clearly insinuated, with said daughter right there with us, that we would need to sort out and pay for her driving lessons. I didn't say anything in response to this at the time because her daughter was with us when she said that, but I feel like it's put me in a tough spot. I personally do not believe that this is an expense I should have to participate in and feel it was somewhat unfair of her to even insinuate it to begin with. If the situation was reversed, I wouldn't ask, nor expect her, to pay for my child's driving lessons if our finances remain separate. Am I the asshole if I tell her I don't think I should have to help pay for these? P.S. We don't live in the U.S. which is why the classes cost more than you would think, and I already have started helping to teach her how to drive, in addition to all the other things I already do to help out my so with her daughter, e drop her off at the bus stop to get to school when my so can't because of work, pick up the daughter from her work when my so can't, etc. where we live, it really is preferable to get an instructor for at least 3 driving lessons to start them off on the right foot. There are many things I am happy to do as the partner to help my so out with her daughter, but I just feel that there do need to be some boundaries and this is one of them. Am I the asshole? For asking my daughter not to marry her physically handicapped boyfriend? I don't have anything against him as a person. However, I am concerned that my daughter, 21F, does not know what she's getting into with this relationship and it frightens me that they are talking seriously about marriage. Her boyfriend, I'll call him Tom has a genetic disease that causes him to have extreme muscle weakness and limited motor skills. I'm not a doctor so my understanding of his disease is that of a layperson. But I do know the following things. He is wheelchair bound. He needs help showering and even using the toilet. She literally has to hold him up on the seat the whole time he's using it or he will fall over. Also, the limited use he has of his arms means that he even has to be spoon or hand fed. And obviously my daughter will be prepping and cooking every meal. Anyway, as you can see, his limitations are extreme and, as far as I know, he is not ever going to get better in this regard. They hardly ever go out on real dates as Tom prefers the comforts of his home. A date to them is my daughter wheeling him around in the park or at the mall. On the rare occasion when they do go out to eat or something, my daughter has told me people generally assume she is his caretaker and they get tired of correcting them. Tom is also very small particularly his legs, and people frequently mistake him for a child. My concern is that my daughter is living the life of an old woman nursing an aging husband. Yet they are both in their 20s. My daughter tells me they can have children but I imagine it would have to be via artificial insemination. I haven't asked too many questions about that because she gets uncomfortable, which I could understand. What I do know is that they will never be able to live even a semi-normal existence as a couple. Up until a year and a half ago Tom lived with his mother, who was his caretaker. Since he and my daughter have gotten an apartment together though, my daughter has taken over bathing, feeding, and toileting him. Her only break seems to be when she goes to class, during which time Tom has a day nurse that stays with him. I know that some people may think I'm an awful person for feeling this way, but I can't help but feel concerned about what my daughter is signing up for. She is a sweet and gentle girl but I worry that she is also a quite naive and idealistic. I don't think she's considered what life will be like for her years down the road when her 20s are behind her. Anyway there is a lot more I could write about all of this but I think I've laid out the basics. I don't got all of the- Am I the asshole? If I lock myself in my room until I leave for school next week because I'm sick of my family using my sister's BPD as an excuse for everything? For background, I am 18 and soon to be a college freshman. My sister is 25 and although I could type for days how her life has failed to launch and why, 
I'll just leave it at she lives at home. She is diagnosed with BPD and its cousin histrionic personality disorder and has been as long as I can remember. I am supposed to for leave school out of state on Thursday and after this morning, I really don't ever want to come back. I have scholarships, I can work to make room and board and my grandmother said I could borrow money from her. She really means give because she'd never let me pay her back. I guess since that is my plan my question is whipped if I just stay in my room and avoid my family until I leave on Thursday? The incident this morning. I enjoy Bikram yoga and every Sunday there's an early bird class that starts at 8. I was getting ready to go and my sister came in and told me yoga is bullshit. I told her that I didn't want to argue with her and her opinion wasn't going to stop me from going. She then said if you want to be a ignorant piece of shit, fine go. I told her to please just don't talk to me and let me go. She then said you started this. After dealing with this crap for all my life I should have known better but I asked how did I start this Angie? She said that on Friday I had asked my dad to bring me Wendy's home and I should know she can eat Wendy's because she's diabetic and even the smallest amount of fast food in the house is soda trigger for her and she had 3 liters of coke yesterday and it was my fault. I asked her why she's not mad at my dad for getting me the food. She said that's not the point and threw an empty L bottle of coke at me. I tried to leave but my mom heard the commotion and tried to pull this crap your sisters. We're going to work this out and made me sit down and miss my yoga class. I was so disgusted because while they did tell my sister that I can't be held responsible for her drinking 3 liters of coke, they kept repeating to me that I need to recognize that my sister has BPD and we as a family need to love and support her even though she can be hurtful sometimes. I faked an apology just to get it over with. But I've been hiding out in my room all day long and unless it's to get food or go to the bathroom or go to my friend's goodbye party on Tuesday, I wanna stay here. I don't care if I say goodbye to my mom or dad, I don't care if I ever see my sister again. I just wanna stay in my room. Wimpta if I do this? Thank you for watching this fantastic story. Please tap one of the four videos on the screen for another amazing top reddit stories.